Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to this channel. This is John Marillo. And real quick, a little bit about me. I'm a master hypnotist. I'm a master law of attraction petitioner. I am also an expert in NLP. Today we're going to be talking about what is the meta model. The meta model is a set of strategy, language patterns, and also language structures that helps to recover information that's been generalized, deleted, and distorted. Who is the metal model for? The metal model is for life coaches, therapists. It's generally found in therapy of some kind. However, the metal model has made its way in sales, where people who are looking how to make more money can understand how people use their minds and how people use the language styles. So they use the meta model to ask certain questions to make more money. The meta model is also useful for psychics. By understanding how to, and this is a very unique way of using the meta model, the meta model is used, can be used for psychic. To understand what someone's language style reveals about themselves. What does this type of language style says about this individual? So it can be used to be a psychic-like person. It's a very powerful way to understand the human psyche and what it says about that person. Typically, the meta model is used in therapy where the client is having a tough time. They walk in, they're having a tough time. And the therapist needs to be able to understand what this person is saying, give them a diagnosis, and then be able to fix them. And you do, uh, a very powerful way to do that is with the meta model. The meta model is generally a set of language pot patterns, structure, usually in the form of a question. So, for example, you say something, I like this cake. And then I say something like, what specifically did you like about the cake? Who made the cake? Where did you buy the cake? So I'm asking a question in response to your statement. And then what I'm trying to do is here, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to dive deeper into your experience. I'm trying to dive deeper into your brain and how you're processing the information to create the experience that you're, that you're creating. But I'm also trying to dive deeper into rapport because that's another way to develop rapport a lot faster and a lot more powerfully so too. And this is what ties into effective communication. So let's use a different example. You tell me, I love coffee. Why do you love about, what do you love about coffee? Why do you love coffee? And then you respond and say something like, I don't know, I like, I like, I like how I feel with coffee. Or you also say something like, I like that I get a coffee buzz from coffee and it makes me feel energized and it makes me feel it just helps me do things, more work, I can get my tasks done, and it, it destroys all fatigue-like feeling. And you see how that response was elicited from the question. So with just that one question, it brings about a avalanche of words to come out of the subconscious of this, of this individual. So because the data is already stored in the person's brain and mind, so by asking these questions, or the meta model in this case, you can get a lot of the insight, a lot of the data, and extract it from that individual, that person. So you can really, really dive deeper into the consciousness of this individual and what they're really saying, how they process the experience, what they mean, etc. So sometimes people say certain things, but you have to be able to learn how to translate that. What, do, what does that mean? Like what does, how are they processing the experience? And they're doing this through their word choices. And what do these word choices mean? So essentially you need to be able to connect X with Y. So some, some people use certain words to describe certain ex the process and experience. It's not any, any different than anybody else. It's just that they're using certain choices or word choices to describe the same process experience and they do it slightly differently i don't know like let's say for example i like the rain 
you say, I love the rain. Well, we kind of said the same thing, but one word was just a little twisted. So I guess we can give another example. I like to go to the park because the park is a wonderful place. Or I can say, I like to go to the park because the park is a great way to get out of my head and meet new people. Well, we kind of said the same thing, but we use different words to describe the actual experience. So going back to the meta model, the meta model is an excellent form of language styles and structure and questions to dive deeper into what this person is actually saying. So you get to reveal, you get to reveal what exactly this person is saying. Therefore, you can dive deeper into that train of thought. I, I gave multiple examples previously. So again, most everyday conversation we just speak in very like basic forms. Just, just for the sake of efficiency, like if we had to use a lot of brain power for every little, for, for our every mundane, mundane, mundane things, we will go crazy. That's what OCD and anxiety is. It's kind of like a, a the brain is too overactive. The efficient way to be is no thinking and just doing, or you have single thoughts that you're thinking. Anxiety is when you have too many thoughts all simultaneously running at one time. So the meta model is an excellent tool to dive deeper into what a person is saying. You ask specific questions and you get specific answers from those questions. I guess let me give an, another example. You say something like, hi, I'm going to school. I like school. School is fun. And then I say something in response to that. What's fun about school? Why are you going to school? I mean, there's so many ways that I can kind of like do this thing to that. So it's just like I'm just kind of spitting random things out. I can also say, oh, you like to go to school. Why do you like to go to school? And then you can say something like in response to this. Oh, I don't know. I just like going to school because all the other kids are there. It's fun. And I really feel like I'm being productive and successful in my life. Something like that, right? So again, the meta model is a tool to get specific when people are being general. It's also a tool to dive deeper into, into what the person is saying. It's also another tool to just elicit different kind of responses. It's also another tool to create more effective communication. It's also what salespeople are, are trained to learn because it helps to generate more money. Therapists use this for therapy to heal their patients. A lot of times the patients are struggling with a lot of things that they don't know they're going through. They don't know how to explain what it is that they're explaining. So the therapist's job is to somewhat reverse engineer what the patient is experiencing, what are the problem related symptoms this person is going through and kind of provide with a diagnosis depending on what's being said. And the meta model is a very useful tool for this. However, it's it can be tricky and challenging to figure out what someone is saying because they're not really they're not really sure how to describe it themselves. They just can kind of grunt a few lines or words and you're not really sure what that what that means. You have to kind of try to figure it out what is being said and what what is actually what what does that actually mean so i hope you like this video this was a very quick topic on meta model if you wish to learn more about the meta model if you're someone who is in therapy or social worker or if you're a psychic or if you're a salesperson the meta model is an excellent tool for you the meta model can teach you how to make more money the meta model can also reveal to you how to be more psychic and understand the psyche of people's minds and understand what they're exactly say what what do they say what do they mean this will give you this will give you a great boost in understandings of how of what it means of what people say what they mean right so this will give you psychic like powers and you it basically will give you an x-ray capability to 
into people's brains. It will be like you're an X-Man looking into people's brains. When they talk, you will have the capacity to understand exactly what they're saying and what they mean by what they say. And if you don't know what they say, it's a great tool to help you dive deeper into what's being said. What, this, what specifically did you mean when you said that? And then that, the response that you get from that is the, the, the response that you get because of the question. If you wish to learn more about this, please head over down to La Lazy Way Persuasion. Lazy, per Lazy Way Persuasion is a effective program developed by my buddy George Hunt, who is a master NLP and master practitioner of hypnosis. He can help you get whatever it is that you want. He developed Lazy Way Persuasion. Lazy Way Persuasion is particularly for salespeople learning how to make more money, but it, it can also be useful for understanding the human psyche, understanding basically how to get results by asking specific questions and can help you get more and more, 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 more money. <laughs> I just said that five times. I don't know why I said that. Anyways, if you guys are interested in this, please check out Lazy Way Persuasion with the links down below. Also, I have Manifest Shortcuts. If you're interested in learning how to manifest any single desire that you may wish, please check out Manifest Shortcuts and you'll be able to create miracles by using the power of your mind. Also, for Aspire Entrepreneurs, I have Dominate the Online Business Game, which is a great sort of hack. It's a great ebook to hack the online world, the online business world, so you can pretty much uh, shortcut your way into success. Thank you all for watching. This has been Gerard Marillo. Stay tuned for the next episode of Gerard Marillo, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. I hope you guys like this. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up, make a comment, uh, leave me a comment down below, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.